Hello everyone, Daniel here from OurCloudNetwork.com and today we're going to look at creating an Exchange Online Archiving Policy and in particular a policy that defines how old a message will be in your mailbox before it gets moved to the Online Archive folder. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we have the Online Archive folder enabled for the users we want this policy to apply to. So within our 365 Admin Center, under Admin Centers on the left hand side, just select Exchange and wait for that to open. Now under recipients and mailboxes, we're going to find our user and select the display name. This window on the right will pop open. We're going to select others. We're going to select manage mailbox archive and make sure the archive is set to on from the slider here. So now it's on, we can look at creating our policy. So we'll go back to the 365 admin center. And again, under admin centers, this time we're going to select the compliance admin center or Microsoft purview as it's now called. Now under the solutions header on the left hand side, we can select data lifecycle management and then click exchange legacy. So an online archiving policy or the um, retention policies, they're, they're broken up into two parts. You have the retention tags, which de define the settings that gets applied to the message. And you have the policies which define who these settings are going to apply to. So we're going to start off with creating some new settings that we want to apply. So we're going to click on the retention tags option. We're going to select new tag and we're going to create a meaningful name for the tag to start. So we want it to move messages that are a year old to our archive. So we're going to select, uh, say one year move to archive. And uh, I have to recommend you put a meaningful description in there. So I'm going to go made by Daniel. And we're going to click next. Now we need to define how the tags applied. So the default option is automatically to the entire mailbox. And this is the only option we can choose in this instance um, when we want to apply uh, the age policy to a message to move it to the archive. So we also have an option to move automatically to some default folders, um, such as the inbox and deleted items. And we can create a tag that users can apply at a personal level within their outlook clients to custom folders and items such as messages. In this instance, we're just going to select the top option here and click next. We're going to choose the retention period or the age uh, we want to uh, apply this to our messages to. So we're going to select 365 for one year. And under retention action, we're going to select move item to archive. Now, if you selected any two of them other options on the application method screen, this item, uh, this option won't be there under retention action. So if you don't see it, go back to the previous screen and make sure you chose uh, the correct option. So now click X, uh, next, review your settings, and then just click submit. And our tag's created, and we can see it here, uh, highlighted the, um, our new tag. So we go to retention policies page now and click new policy. Again, enter a meaningful name. So one year move to archive. And we're going to find our tag that we created. And uh, there it is. We're going to click add, click next. Not many settings to review here. So just click submit. So there we have it. We've created our policy. So when you enable an online archive um, or enable the online archive for a user, they by default get applied this policy here, which uh, moves items older than two years to the archive. Because uh, we're changing that, we want to apply this one year move to archive. Uh, we're going to show you now, or I'm going to show you now how to change the policy that applies to the user. So let's start by going back to the 365 admin center again. And under admin center, select exchange. Again, under recipients and mailboxes, select your user. Now this time go to the mailbox tab and at the bottom here, you've got retention policy. So you're gonna click manage mailbox policies and change the retention policy to the new one we just created. So one year move to archive and click save. So sometimes the changes can take quite a while to take effect. So just give it between, uh, give it a couple of days up to a week maybe for the, um, the archive policy to take effect. But there you have it, you created an archive policy.